at presidential poll drama as LP factions clash at tribunal. I found what happened yesterday. I found it laughable. And so when I tweeted it, I got a lot of criticisms. You know, I've tweeted that. And I, I have no apologies for my tweet. Because in the first place, I don't think this acting chairman or whatever he is, I don't think he, 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 he went about what he was doing the right way. Number one, I find that if you're a committed member of a party, during a time like this, even, even for the country and for your party, this is not a time for you to be a rabble rouser. To be honest with you, let's, let's call it spade a spade. If you claim you, are, you want to be the chairman of the party, at this critical moment that the whole world is looking for a, re a resolution of this crisis that we are in, is not the time to be raising that. I think any full-grown adult should know that. Secondly, if you want to assert yourself, this gentleman had no respect for the Supreme Court. It's not in the Supreme Court that you start be behaving like a labor unionist. Somebody is seated and you tell him to get up. The proper thing to do is if for any reason, if for any reason you thought somebody had occupied your seat, you report to the authorities. You don't go, you know, in the Supreme Court. In the Supreme Court. You don't go to the Supreme Court and start wanting to struggle. You, 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 know, and, you know, I felt that he could have conducted himself in a much better manner. The way he's going about this leads to suspicion that some people would probably be thinking he's being pushed for somewhere. But even if you're being pushed, for God's sake, let's, let's show some decorum. So I think from the onset, he brought it upon himself whatever happened to him and I have no apologies whatsoever for you know for you know not that I condone it but well that's he 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 he, he, he uh, what do you call it now he he casts the first stone I mean come on a party chairman you got to a place you want to assert yourself you call the attention of the registrar and the authorities and tell them please this gentleman is occupying my seat you can't even do this at a wedding not at a social event so he didn't conduct himself well. I, I don't know. I don't know. You know, the court has ruled that he's the acting chairman. But even at that, even at that, and what is special about a seat anyway? He could have sat down honorably anywhere, and then lodged a formal complaint. You know, I, I'm not too. I'm not too happy with the gentleman. I'm not too happy with him. You know, I, I, and and I, I, people should also know that they should take this tribunal very very serious for the sake of nigeria it's no longer about labor or apc or pdp it is a nigerian thing the future of this country depends on this this appeal this tribunal that's going on and to use it as a place for for rabble rousing and so on and so forth i was highly disappointed in this in this party chairman no matter the excuse that he has he could have conducted himself in a much better manner. And generally, I would just say to the Labour Party, to everybody there, please remember that you are representing the interests of many Nigerians at home and even all over the world, those who have interests in Nigeria. When I say you are representing their interests, I don't mean they are your supporters. But what I mean is that everybody is looking for a resolution of the crisis. And we don't want to be, we don't want our minds diverted by this kind of trivia and what I will call to some extent bad behavior. Mm. So that's my reaction. On YouTube, Blair Anya says his conduct makes it easy to speculate that he has been planted in that party to cause confusion. Yesterday was a show of shame and he didn't act in the interest of his party. Well, I mean, it's, it's quite, I mean, unless we just, we just have to be polite here. All of us have a sense of what could have happened. Oh, definitely, all of us have a sense of what could have happened. Uh, and it's, it's just a pity.